to new semester okay so today as the previous semester okay we will uh, provide you with the briefing on the upcoming semester which is on foundation biology 2 okay, which is bio 095 okay so this is the academic calendar that we have uh, you've seen before okay the websites okay so this is your reference for all the activities uh, throughout the semester which includes the lectures uh, or the and also the uh, study week okay examination weeks okay and also the midterm and also final semester holidays okay and so we look at the course learning outcome for bio 095 okay so the first learning outcome is to apply the concept of homeostasis and animal structure and function to solve problems related to genetics and animal physiology so this is under the domain of the, of the Bloom, bloom's taxonomy domain c3 okay and the second learning outcome is to display basic scientific skills in genetics and animal physiology so this is in the taxonomy domain p4 okay the third le course learning outcome is to demonstrate social skills and responsibility for the well-being of the society by sharing and creating awareness of genetic and animal physiology common disease and health issues in Malaysia. So this, in the, is, this is in the taxonomy domain A3. And the fourth course learning outcome is to demonstrate communication skills in written related in genetics and animal physiology. So in brief, okay, the first course learning outcome is mostly what we've learned in the lectures, tutorials, and the second course of the outcome is what you've learned in the lab, okay, and also practical lab, practical session. And the third is you will present, okay, you find information related to uh, all of this uh, genetics and also animal uh, disease, uh, uh, genetics and also animal physiology disease, okay. And also the fourth is to spread information which is communication skill you will you will present your uh, knowledge or what you've learned in this course through the audience or to the community okay so this is the taxonomy domain that we've uh, mentioned earlier okay c3 which is application okay a3 with is valuing and uh, the p4 is physical activities okay and next is, so these are the chapters that you will go throughout this semester. Okay, which is the first chapter is genetic inheritance and genetic control. Okay, and the second chapter is gene technology. Okay, we, we, which is application of genetics, eh, you will learn in here. And homeostasis, which is the, uh, the third chapter. The fourth chapter is on the reproductive system, followed by the fifth chapter, hormonal and nervous communication. The sixth chapter is circulatory system, and seventh chapter, seventh chapter is immune system, and the final chapter is the respiratory system, which is chapter eight. Okay, so we look at student learning time, which is the your effort and students' effort in learning to achieve specified learning outcome okay so uh, based on all this eight chapter okay you can use this uh, guide to know how much time you must allocate in your uh, studies okay so we, like this for example first on genetic inheritance and genetic control which is the first chapter okay which covers CLO1 until 4 okay so in one week we will have three hours of lectures and this chapter will be covered in a period of three weeks so three hours of lecture per week multiplied by three weeks we have nine hours of lectures so student learning time slt 
requires approximately two hours uh, two hours of studying for one hour of lecture so nine hours of lecture for chapter one you will require about 18 hours of student learning time so for chapter one basically you need almost a day to fully understand okay on this chapter for tutorial you have one hour per week okay three weeks to cover chapter one and this else slt okay for three hours of tutorial session you will need about three hours of uh, slt to complete your tutorial so basically you complete your workbook okay you will require about three hours of time okay so the same for every chapter so you can come came up with you can come up with a total number of hours that you must plan out to uh basic to, to successfully understand this all these chapters so we look at the cost assessment okay for the cost work we will first have the uh test or the midterm test which is about 15 percent of your final marks which covers cl01 and also c3 in the bloom's taxonomy and then we have quizzes we have three quizzes okay which will give about five percent of the total assessment mark and then you have presentation okay about ten percent which i will later explain in this uh in the videos okay and you have lab practical which is divided into guided lab which is the, your lab yeah you will do face-to-face -face lab and also odl labs okay and also observation okay so all this coursework will give about 50 percent followed by another 50 percent in your final examination so you to score well you must score the best in your coursework so this is what you must target throughout the semester and the final exam is your uh basically your final exam okay and so these are the assessment okay that you will that you will go throughout the semester for these quizzes so the quiz one which will take which, which will take place it at week five which covers genetic inheritance and genetic control okay and we have you have quiz two okay which is on week nine on the reproductive system followed by quiz three which is on the final week which covers the immune system okay so take note of this uh, date, okay? And then you have the midterm test, okay, which covers chapter one and chapter two, which will be carried out between 15 to 19th of February in 2021, okay? And you have the lab practical, which is your guided lab, which will cover experiment one until experiment four. So you have uh, some labs are ODL, some labs are face to face, okay, which will, I will show you later in the table of your lab sessions. And then observation basically, your lecturer, okay, your uh, lab lecturer, okay, will randomly select any groups to be observed for the semester, which is to see how you do your labs, how you manage your time, how you manage your lab works, how you do your group. You, you interact with group members all of this will be observed okay in the lab observation okay and then we have group presentation which is 10 percent so you have two choices the first is poster and oral presentation and second is video presentation you can choose either of these two okay so this is to this uh, group presentation is to share and create awareness of genetic and animal physiology disease a health issue in Asia. Okay, so you must uh, uh, consult with your lecturer on the topics. Okay, which is mostly on health issues and and other. And so you, these are examples of uh, this is just examples. So you can you can take others other disease that may have relatedness to your to the chapters learned in this uh, course. We have eight chapters.
chapters, you need to find any disease that is related to these eight chapters. Alright? Okay, so this is the uh, lab schedule. We will show you, you will, we will start our lab on week three. Okay, which is the first experiment on field protein synthesis, which is done via ODL, online distance learning. Okay, we start at 11th January. Okay, and then the second experiment on lab week five and week six. So please, please need to know on this, on this uh, red thing here. These are the public holidays that, that occurred in this week. And week seven, there is no, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, lab session. Okay, so this uh, week is basically you will start uh, coming in for ODL session, or uh, sorry, uh, a face to face session of uh, learning. Uh, okay, and then followed by the midterm exam and also your midterm. Uh, holidays, okay, with the breaks, okay, and then we have uh, week 8 and week 9, which is the first face to face lab on the reproductive system, endocrine system, and nervous system, okay, so it's a combination of several chapters, and then the final uh, guided lab, which is which is on week 10 and 11, okay, on cardiovascular physiology, okay. At week 12 and 13 is where you do your presentation. Okay, so for your presentation, okay, you must prepare beforehand during the early weeks. Okay, so while doing that, okay, well, you can take out your topics, your disease. So you must discuss among your group members on what topic that you want to present. Okay. And don't forget to uh, discuss with your lecturer on the content okay this is to avoid any mistakes that might occur okay during your discussions among your uh, group members okay so these are the two options that you can choose poster and oral presentation okay or you can do video presentation okay so poster you can include the causes of the disease, which can include biological mechanism, symptoms, recent data in leisure, okay, and also you can put in treatments and prevention, eh? okay. So these are the posters. So you must uh, design and print a poster, okay. Depending on the situation, it can be uh, uh, you will be on the current situation, eh? okay, because it can be a physical poster. Or it can be an e-poster, okay, depending on the current COVID-19 situation in uh, Malaysia. And then after you create the poster, you will, you will proceed to oral presentation in which you present your posters. Okay, you present your posters during week 12 and week 13. Okay, this presentation will take place during lab session and you can, in, you can, you can invite a non-science student as audience to judge or to... Uh, to judge your uh, presentation and also judge your poster. So this is for poster and oral presentation. Next is on video presentation. Okay, so video presentation. So you will prepare a, a, a video of, of about five to ten minutes. So this video you must have a clear storyboard and idea presentation. Okay, so this uh, storyboard and presentation must uh, be presented or shown to the lecturer to avoid any mistakes. So in this video, basically, you can uh, your group member can act. Okay, can act in this video, and uh, based on any disease or any situation in uh, the same eh, the disease, physiological, physiological anomalies. Okay, that can we can take off. That is related to this uh, this course, okay. And then you can uh, present or show the video on week twelve and week thirteen, okay. So basically, you are doing a five or ten minutes drama, not drama, a documentary, a real life documentary of the uh, chapter of the disease that you chosen, okay. So you, same as in your in the post oral, you can invite non-science student okay as evaluator okay 
okay and also uh, this uh, is dependent on the current situation also the either they can come to your lab or it can be online okay anything can happen eh? if it's based on her COVID-19 situation eh? okay so reminders okay so please you don't forget your lab codes okay during phase two phase lab session okay so those who part two took your lab code home okay please don't forget to bring it okay or if you forgot it already please don't forget to ask your family member to post their lab code to you okay and reminder please make sure your attendance is above 50 percent to provide to prevent any issues that may occur in your exam okay sometimes in certain case uh students can be part for um uh, exams due to the low attendance of the uh, in classes okay and then the workbook it, so this is a uh, previous workbook okay uh so please don't forget to buy your workbook Okay, so the schedules will be updated later okay and also uh, please wear proper attire okay your peers your courtesy your members your, your classmates your lecturers okay must be uh, well eh? must be well and nice okay because it reflects your identity as a university student and then this is the reference book the same as the previous semester okay so this can be used and also we have another, another several other books that you can look at the course you know, course outline okay and so thank you and all the best for this semester for all of you students and please keep your motivations high throughout this challenging challenging time okay in getting your education okay thank you all okay i will see you later okay bye bye salam